five years ago with the first uh, SAMHSA program. <clears throat> and it started with uh, prevention, you know, with alcohol, drugs, suicide, all of that. Anyways, so we started this program and we did a survey. <clears throat> we got just about everyone in both communities to take the survey, and from that survey we had this um, planning document that told us what people wanted to do, what people uh, noted what the need was in this community, and one of the needs was um, <clears throat> doing things, having activities for the youth and for people, something, you know, when you're not drinking or whatever, you need something to do, so that's why we came up with this program to fill a need and to work with the people in this area. So this other, the second SAMHSA grant that we have is for <clears throat> suicide prevention and to work with the youth and the young folks. That's why you see all these activities going on here. It's to provide activities for youth. So the youth know there's more than just sitting around watching TV and playing on iPad, going out, you know, doing canoeing, doing kayaking, going swimming, making baskets, being outdoors, you know, build a fire, learn how to build a fire, learn how to work on fish, how to cut fish, you know. Part of that too is learning how to do for yourself, how to survive and learn from the elders how to do things. And one of the, one of the fun things that we did last summer was the um, fish cutting. That was so good to have all the youth there, the young adults, learning how to cut fish, and all of them did really well. It's like, you know, there's little mess here and there or, you know, whatever, but it doesn't matter. It's just they're learning, and they're going to learn how to do it. And you get better as you do it more. So so that's that's the things that we're trying to do is get young folks and kids to learn to do things on their own and not just rely on technology. And also to get out there, have fresh air, enjoy the environment, learn how to take care of the environment, and just learn what we learned years ago. You know, today's kids, they don't have that opportunity like how we grew up. We had to grow up. We had, we didn't have no options. We had to carry, you know, go out and get wood, go get water, you know, carry your fish a long ways, carry your moose a long ways, you know. We had to do it regardless, and nowadays kids have a choice. They can stay inside or they can go out and do whatever. And so hopefully this program will help parents and also help the young folks and kids that there are other options to do. And they can learn as we learn growing up. You know, it, the way we learn is, you know, by doing and seeing and listening. And it's just not a one-way street that takes... The young folks, they have to use their ears, use their eyes, use their mouth <laughs> in order to learn. And so hopefully that, you know, this will help some of the young folks, if not all of them. But it doesn't matter, regardless if it's one or a hundred, at least, you know, it'll help, help out and help keep our culture going also. That's the other part of it. It's like, you know, all the things that we we learn that's part of us, that's part of our life, and you want to give the same thing to the youth in this, in both communities. Our goal is to help, you know, our youth and young adults and children in our community, and if we just help one, you know, it is worth it. It's one life that you have helped, and that's, that's our goal.